Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III. Since last time I completed my level grinding up to level 10 there, I also uh, removed Ark's weapons now, since he can deal slightly more damage with his fists. Um, technically, his damp attack power is slightly less, but his hit percentage is a lot more, so I think that's better for him. Um, but I'm going to hold on to his Tanfa for later, so. And uh, I forgot to mention before, but uh, I didn't purchase the Mithril Rings for my wizards back at uh, Kazus because we're going to find some later, so I didn't feel the need to buy them. Now, um, as far as what we need to do next, well, the only area we can go to is this mountain. Uh, I think someone in the town mentioned that that's where Desh was heading, but I can't remember, but it's the only place we can go, so let's do it. Uh-oh. That's a fairly small dragon, I think. Anyway, this is the road to the summit. Most enemies here are susceptible to wind elemental attacks, uh, particularly the arrow spell that they mentioned, but we don't have that yet. So um, they're pretty vanilla enemies, so I'm really not going to demonstrate them unless I think I can do it quickly. So let's just walk around. It's a pretty straightforward path. This area is extremely short, so don't be afraid to use your upper level spell charges if you run into a large group of enemies. Blind is okay here, but I'd rather use Bolt myself. Yeah, that was just a battle with a new enemy, Fire Fry. Um, again, pretty vanilla, but they are also susceptible to ice, so pretty obvious there. Okay, now you want to take the upper path first, because that leads to a chest here. And it contains the arrow spell. What a coincidence. I did not see that one coming. Give that to your white mage there. And, yeah, he's got quite a few spell charges of that, so, uh, might as well use them all while you're here. They'll be real useful. Okay, the summit is above, but let's get this chest first, and it contains yet another soft. Okay, let's climb up here now. And here we are at the summit, and we get carried away by a dragon. Oh, no! Wark? What are these, baby chocobos? I don't think so. What's that? It's a man. Oh, these are dragon eggs? And they say Wark. Okay, sure. Oh, this is Dash. Alright, well, your girlfriend's been worried sick about you. Oh, he has amnesia. Great. Oh, he brought us for food for his children. Hide! Oh no! We gotta get out of here! Run away! Run away! Oh, come on, you had to see that clip coming. Run away! Run away! Get out of here! There's no way we're beating Bahamut at this point in the game. Way too powerful. Whew, we made it. Got lucky there. And we ran away to the same spot we came from. That's great. Good plan, guys. Oh, yay, he also has the mini spell for us. And Desh is coming with us for no apparent reason. Oh well. That's okay. Jump! What? How do you, how do you jump straight off a mountain? Well, anyway, here we are. I don't know how we got here, but that's what it is. And we are in the Forest of Healing. Uh, north of the Forest of Midgets, apparently. But you can only get there by being a midget. Fortunately, we have the mini spell, which will take care of that problem for us. See, that's healing, that's reviving. The one on the right, I believe, restores status ailments, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Or it cures status ailments. Oh, come on. Okay. Now, I want to get south first before I mini myself. Um, we'll go over what mini does in a moment. Besides, make you smaller. 
Okay, so this is about where that town is, so... Oh, I gotta equip the mini spell. Right. Give that to the white wizard there. There we go. We're all tiny. There it is. I knew I'd find it. This is the village of Tazas, or Tozas, whatever. Okay, yep, we're new around here. It's a tunnel which goes through the mountains, and we can find where the Vikings live. Sounds like a plan. Content midgets. Sounds fair enough. Oh yeah, I should talk to Dash eventually, huh? Living forest... And the doctor's stomach is hurting terribly. Do I have an antidote? Yes, I do. I have plenty of antidotes. Okay, let's see what Dash has to say. Okay. We can't use swords because we're tiny. Can't use anything but magic. Defense power is one. We better go to the back row and use about three black wizards. That's basically what you gotta do. Otherwise, your melee warriors aren't gonna be doing anything. So put them in the back row because, as you can see, our attack and defense is negligible. So, I don't even know that the back row really does anything, but, oh well. So we're going to remove their equipment. Do that. And I'm going to make them into black wizards. I'm not especially worried about this at all, as far as, like, building skill, because for melee warriors, I really don't care about their skill levels. It's really the wizards, or the dedicated wizards, the white and black wizard, that I really care about continuously building their skill levels all the time. So... Now they're black wizards, and uh, I'm not even going to bother with equipment for them because their defense will be one regardless anyway. So there's no point with that. So let's uh, get some spells for them. Let's see. No, this is the end. Oh, but I do need to refill their spell charges because they're wizards now. So let's do that. Fast forward. It's like an Enetron, but you're still hungry. Oh, come on. Get out of my way. Uh, is this what I'm looking for? Midget bread. Oh, yeah, it's a sight spell. It lets you view the world map, because this game uh, is cruel enough to not give you a world map. Oh, that's all they sell here? What did I waste my time here for? Okay, well, there's only one more place to go. And, of course, naturally, the magic shop is the last house that I go to. Okay, now uh, you want two level one spells and two level two spells for your uh, wizard, for your new wizards. That is, um, it doesn't matter what element you pick. I don't think anyone has any strengths or weaknesses to any particular elements coming up. So uh, let's get one, two fire spells because fire is cool, and two bolt spells. There we go. So yeah, now our. Uh, Lunith and Ark will actually be able to do something remotely useful while they are tiny. And uh, we're going to have to be tiny for, well, not a long time, but long enough to uh, be worth it to spend the, the gold. Is it gold or gill? They don't say. Well, I'm going to say gill. So, yeah, we're, I'm not worried about spending the gill or the capacity or anything like that. So, okay, now it's time to find some treasure. So we get the Cure 2 spell. A burning staff, cloth, and a mithril ring. So, uh, let's get the Cure 2 spell for Refia there. I'll equip the equipment in a moment. I'm going to find some more stuff soon. Let's give him an antidote. Yay! Food poisoning. <laughs> antidote cures all kinds of poisoning. And he opens a hidden passage for us. Great, okay, so, uh, oh yeah, that burning staff that I got, that can be used as an item during battle to cast a fire on an enemy, so I'm going to give that to the white wizard there, that makes him pretty useful. Um, really, I'm hardly ever going to use it though, because I really want him to be focusing most of his efforts on uh, casting spells all the time, so that way he can keep building up his skill. That's pretty important for him. So let's see, I got the two mithril rings, the burning staff, I taught Cure 2 to my white wizard, and yeah, that's everything I wanted to do here, so let's go down the stairs. 
Okay, well, we got to go through the hidden road to get through the mountains, but I'm going to do that next time. That's all for this episode. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.